As you know, in most of my clubcasts, if not all, I always use the word awesome. And I use that because we have so many awesome people that support boys and girls clubs and do so many things throughout the community. Today, I am honored to have Lynette Marafa, owner and managing partner of Trax Entertainment. How are you, Lynette? Hi, well, good. Thank you so much for having me. No, thank you. You know, it's funny, um, I met you several years ago, and I met you because you were at a uh, one of our events, and the lighting and all this stuff was going on. I was like, man, how much did that stuff cost us? <laughs> and then somebody said, they don't charge us anything for it. And I was just like blown away by that. Like the amount of uh, detail that was put out by your organization and that Boys and Girls Clubs could use those dollars to go back into the club and, and help kids. I really appreciate that just to start this, this conversation. Oh, you're very welcome. So, thank you. Yes, it's our pleasure to give to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, of St. Lucie County. We believe at our organization everyone is interested in giving back. We have 14 amazing employees and every child should be given an equal and outstanding opportunity to be excellent, you know, moving forward in the community as a young adult and as an adult. And so um, we feel very strongly that your programs uh, promote that. That's awesome. So, so tell me, I mean that, I'm going to say that was more of a company thing right there, yeah. but why do you do it? Because when we go to events, you are in it. Like yep. from our youth of the year to our steak and steak to all of our events, you are in it, not just providing the music, you're providing a lot of um, opportunity for us to improve. You're doing some other things for us. Why does Lynette do it? So a, a quick, a quick uh, one minute on this is I didn't have those opportunities when I was growing up in the south side of Chicago. Um, you know, I didn't have an excellent uh, upbringing and it wasn't until I was in college and joined a sorority that I really learned what philanthropy was. And I think if philanthropy isn't taught in our homes, um, it's important to for young people to find it somewhere, whether it through, be through an organization or through relationships. And for me, I never stopped giving back since my sorority was a philanthropic sorority in college. And it just makes your heart feel good and it makes you want to bring to the table those opportunities that maybe you didn't have. And so that's the most important thing. That's awesome, Annette. You see it. You see it and you feel it when we're at our events. It feels like you're part of the staff, you're part of our family, yeah. so um, we, we definitely appreciate that. Tell us a little bit more about, um, like, what does it feel like when you're at some of our events? Because I know me, I get really <laughs> nervous, and it's like, you're like, we'll count down a little yeah. bit, you give me this little countdown, and we, we just get right into it. So, tell me a little bit about that, tell me what's your favorite um, um, event that we have. So I'm going to bring it way back to Cruisin' for a Cause, because that's when you and I actually met. That's right. You were at a different, um, working as a CEO of a different organization, and we had met at a local bank for, we were on the committee together. That's right. We were, and it was probably about 10 years ago, I think. And um, one of the things that just resonates with me with your events is the authenticity of, you know, everything doesn't have to be perfect. And rarely, events are, events are ever rarely very perfect. Um, they're just not. And so they're things that you have to shift left and move right. And you're good at that because you're authentic with what your beliefs are. When you speak, it's not perfect. It right. doesn't need to be. And that's okay because it comes from the heart. And that's what's most important to me that is, um, impresses me about your events is, is, is that people are, are there for a purpose and it's, it shows. It that's really awesome. does. That's awesome. Well, I want to spend some time talking about what you do. You can spend some time talking about Tracks Entertainment, but I know you also got a business summit coming up, we do. which we're involved in that business summit. Yeah. Um, it's definitely have brought lots of new people to us. Yeah. So can we start there? Let's talk about the business summit. Sure. So um, my business partner, Dana Travolsi, and I bought the business summit. It'll be three years ago. So we're hosting the 11th annual. Um, it's May 16th at the Port St. Lucie Civic Center. And it really is truly a B2B event. So it's business to business. So it's bringing businesses together. 
Um, and so in those B2B moments, you find B2C opportunities, business to customer, because we all, let's face it, we are each other's customer. We really are in our day-to-day -day travels. And so um, it's the one and only B2B event on the Treasure Coast. And it is a unique opportunity because we invite um, 10 nonprofits, and of course yours is always um, invited to attend, and we give back um, to a nonprofit at the end of that event. And so, That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And you give back just in so many ways. I mean, um, I can't even, you know, I tried to calculate how much Boys and Girls has received from your organization over the last 10, 12 years. And it's in the thousands and thousands of dollars of just the giving us back all of the music, all of the lighting, all of the things that make an event. So thank you so much. Is there anything you want to talk about in specific to Tracks and Attention? No, I mean, we're proud to be here on the Treasure Coast since 2004. We're the largest entertainment company, and um, we're just really blessed to run a good organization with amazing people that are dedicated to what they do. And you have that right here at Boys and Girls Club as well, because uh, the staff that you have has been with you for a very long time. I see it, because I've been around for almost 10 years. And I think, you know, our organizations are lucky to have dedicated, committed people that believe and are passionate about what they do every day. That's awesome. Yeah. So you heard from Lynette, dedication, commitment, and passion. And we, we get that and we see that from Tracks Entertainment all the time. So thank you, Lynette, for that. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Will.